Hey, so today I'm going to show you how you can create this material for the Starship 3D model I created last episode. If you haven't seen it, link below on the top right. I know this looks complicated, but I'm going to explain everything so you learn something new along the way. Let's get into it. Before we can start, you have to prepare the model for texturing. Separate the nose comb from the body and shade smooth every object. If it looks messed up, enable auto smooth. You also have to enable the node wrangler add-on. I split the material in four parts, so you can understand it more precisely. Base color, vertical and horizontal lines and dense. Let's start with the base color. Add a new material to the starship body and call it starship base and go into the shading workspace. Here you can see the principal BSTF shader. Set metallic to 1 and roughness to something like 0.25. Add a noise texture and a color ramp. Plug the noise texture into the color ramp and the color ramp into the base color of the principal BSDF shader. Change the colors to some different shades of gray. In the noise texture settings, set roughness to 1. Set the detail to something like 9 and then you can play with the scale. You should have this metallic looking material. Add this material to all of the parts. Select the nose and duplicate the material renamed to stripes material or something. Add this material also to the body of the starship. Let's move on to the horizontal lines. Add a wave texture and select Z for the band's direction. With the wave texture selected, press Ctrl plus D. This adds a mapping and a texture coordinate node. If it doesn't work, you have to enable the node wrangler add-on. Use the object coordinates and put it into the vector of the mapping node. Now add a bump node. Put the color of the wave texture into the height of the bump node and the normal output into the normal input of the principal PSDF shader. As you see, the bump is way too extreme. Lower the bump value to around 0.15, but now we have a new problem. There are way too many stripes. You can lower the scale of the wave texture to 0.5, but now the stripes are way too thick. To make them thinner, add a color ramp between the wave and the bump node. Set the interpolation to constant and drag the white value down. Now the stripes get thinner. You can adjust the values with some reference images until you're happy with the stripes. The vertical lines are a bit more complicated. You could just duplicate everything and select X for the band direction. This works if you only want to view it from this front, because it's not even. So knowing this, duplicate everything and select X for the band direction. Put the normal output into the normal input of another bump node. Set the wave scale to around 12. And now, so it evens out, add a gradient texture between the texture coordinate and the mapping node. Set the gradient to radia. Also add a separate XYZ node, combine them like shown with the texture coordinate node. The last node is combined XYZ node. Put the color into the X and from the separate XYZ node put the Z into the Y. It's confusing, I know, but you can just copy it without needing to understand anything. As the last big part of the texture, let's add the dance. Add a noise texture and a color ramp. Connect the vector of the noise texture to the already existing mapping node. Add the color of the color ramp to another bump node. This is the first bump node to connect to the principal BSDF shader. Now the entire body is covered with the noise texture. I only want it near the horizontal lines, so duplicate the wave texture from the horizontal lines and also plug it into the same mapping node. The wave texture is going to be the mask for the dance. Add a new color ramp. Then combine both textures and add a mix RGB node. Connect the wave texture to the factor and the noise textures to color 2. There is no big difference but if you add an invert node and put it between the color ramp and the mix node, you should see dance only near the stripes. The strength of the bump node for this needs to be really low. Something like 0.05 works fine. Also put the distance to around 0.02 so the dance are less noticeable. At the end play with the wave texture settings. I put this dot at minus 4 and the detail to 1.7 and the detail scale to 19. You can feather the mask by dragging the white value of the color ramp down. This is the entire material you need. For the dance in the flaps, duplicate the dance part and change the values. For the nose, I duplicate the material and change the spacing of the stripes and slightly change the color. This is it. If you would like to see a tutorial on rendering slash animating the starship, write a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe.